Hey, what is up, Shkar here and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to touch on a topic that has been kind of forgotten about and that is the iPhone 12 mini. And what was so great about the original mini that it was kind of a dream of mine or let's say a hope of mine to see this compact phone succeed and I'm gonna try my best to explain why it didn't. So I should really preface this by saying I've never done explainers before, this is my first one so I figured the best way to doing it is to split it into three parts so it's gonna be the good the bad and the ugly. So let's start things by saying this phone was not what we expected it to be at all. I remember when Apple announced the iPhone 12 mini thinking throughout the whole reveal how on earth this phone is supposed to compete in a market of giant smartphones where every major player like Samsung, OnePlus and Xiaomi is playing the big phone good card. So the event went on, we saw the dramatic reveal, everyone got their iPhone 12 mini and reviewed it and seemingly every reviewer was certain that this will be the new beloved form factor. Some reviewers even used it throughout the whole year just to prove the point point. and to their credit I actually defaulted to recommending the iPhone 12 mini to a lot of my friends it was actually a good phone. But a few months later we saw headlines suggesting that Apple will discontinue the mini iPhone because of low sales figures and it will be gone for good. But it was very surprising for us to see that with all of this coverage and positive media I personally praised the iPhone 12 mini to the max and still it did not manage to meet Apple's expectations in terms of sales. So why did it fail? Here is the good, the bad and the ugly. So the iPhone 12 mini was seemingly the perfect device to launch because if you think about it while there were no longer um, any good compact smartphones on the market there was a lot of demand for a compact phone that did not perform like garbage. And Apple understands this very well. This is business 101 where there is no supply and a lot of demand there is plenty of money to be made. So this is the reason that the iPhone 12 mini was born and the promise for the iPhone 12 mini was it's just the same as the regular 12 but just a shrunken down version of it. And besides the charm it had it truly was incredible how much Apple packed into this iPhone and it felt and performed like a true flagship would. More importantly it delivered on that promise. So same HDR10, Dolby Vision, Full HD+, Plus OLED display with 625 nits of brightness, same IP68 water and dust resistance, same set of cameras at 12 megapixel f1.6 wide and a 12 megapixel f2.4 ultra wide camera. Same stereo speakers and the same powerful A14 Bionic as the regular 12 with 4 gigs of RAM on both phones. I can go on about the spec sheet but everything is pretty much the same. So in theory both phones should perform the same, right? Well fun fact the 12 mini scored higher marks than the 12 in every synthetic benchmark and that is because of the smaller 5.4 inch display that takes less resources to power than the bigger 6.1 inch. Another benefit of having a smaller phone is that now you can reach all four corners with only one hand while on larger phones you'd have to do all sorts of hand gymnastics just to see your notifications. So while the mini was technically a shrunken down version of the iPhone 12, there's a limit to how much we can shrink things down and taking everything inside the iPhone 12 and putting it in a smaller housing is physically impossible to do. Think of it like having a 20 liter backpack, fully packed, now try packing all that stuff into a 15 liter backpack and certainly you would have to make some compromises because it will certainly not fit all of that stuff in a smaller backpack. Now here is the segment I like to call tiny trade-offs. So let's start from the obvious one, the battery. So the battery on the iPhone 12 mini is average at best. I mean sure you can kill it in a day if you're a heavy user like me. And it also can be manageable if it's going to be on standby the whole time. So I mean it's not the most amazing battery of all time, I'm gonna admit it. Battery is one of the weakest points of this phone. The battery on this phone is significantly smaller at only 2227 milliamp hours versus the 2815 milliamp hours on the 12 mini and according to my calculations that is about a 21% smaller battery and that translates to probably 4 to 5 hours of use in real life assuming maximum battery capacity of 100% which is not really that impressive. Oh you're welcome.
This is also one of those things where while reachability is amazing and it's very ergonomically pleasing to reach all corners with one hand, it's definitely not the greatest for media consumption and scrolling through Twitter. And it's in those areas where you would really appreciate a larger display to watch your favorite show or YouTube video. Gaming on this phone is not the best experience either. You can definitely run almost any game on it thanks to it having that A14 Bionic chip, but the battery will drain very quickly running graphically intensive games. In addition to that, the on-screen buttons are actually more difficult difficult to tap. Same thing with the keyboard, typing isn't pleasant unless you have small hands. You're gonna press the wrong letters most of the time because one finger is the size of multiple keys so it's very common to make a typo and it sometimes just feels comically small in my hands. Maybe my hands aren't the smallest out there but still, the keyboard is not for me. And with the small phone also comes smaller speaker grill and the 12 mini has the smallest speakers of the 12 lineup nothing too significant in terms of max volume but i'm just kind of nitpicking then finally the notch it is still the same size notch across the lineup but it looks much bigger on the mini and that's kind of annoying but then again the larger 12 pro max does not show any extra information on the extra screen real estate it has so maybe this will be a downside when the larger phones actually use that space for battery percentage or something useful but for now it's just wasted space So when the iPhone 12 mini first came out, it was the hot topic. Everyone was sharing their thoughts and experience with it. It was great because for years we've been complaining that the phones have gotten unnecessarily big and how this option finally exists. It should have been a bestseller, right? Well, no. Surprisingly, after a month of it being released, it accounted for about 6% of total iPhone sales. Even the iPhone SE sold more than the mini, so things were not going great for the mini. As soon as those headlines came out, the tech community started ranting about the situation in hopes of more people trying this great little device. But sales for the mini were still on the decline. Listen to what Lou had to say about the situation on the Lou Later show. You can see the iPhone 12 mini is just, I, I, it's impossible to call it a hit at that point. And you look at this graph and you start to wonder about the future for it. You start to wonder if they'll ever do it again. Mm -hmm. Can they afford, like, what is their, how is their uh, profit margin impacted by the fact that the volume on that particular model is lower than they had imagined? So things weren't looking great for the future of the Mini and in June we saw headlines suggesting that Apple will discontinue the Mini and it will be gone for good, confirming the low number of sales and preventing even more people from buying it. Because when you think about it, why buy a small phone and get used to it when you're not going to be able to upgrade it because it does not exist anymore after a year or two and you will eventually have to go back to big phones, so why invest in the small phone in the first place? So with all of that being said, here are my thoughts about the iPhone 12 Mini. It was actually a a great device and no wonder the tech community was upset that it did not sell that well but I think it had two major problems and number one is the name the name mini while it is a perfect description for what you're getting you are still getting a mini phone that is almost as good as the bigger ones and it had that psychological thing where people were like why have the mini when you can have the pro and pro max to think about these names they scream power, performance, bleeding edge, while the Mini screams, well, small. And the Mini, which is still a great name, but still, it feels like you're getting something else. It feels like you're getting something with half of the package of the other 12s in the lineup. To me, it had some sort of psychological effect, and it makes so much sense right now to me. I hope it makes sense for you too. And the second thing was pricing. So the 12 started at $799 and the phone it was replacing was the iPhone 11, which was $699. And the mini started at $699 as well. So the mini was pictured as the successor to the 11, at least price-wise, which was a bad comparison for the mini to see what $699 got you last year versus this year. And a bigger effect of that pricing on the iPhone 12 mini was that people were already skeptical about it. And it was not tested before, nobody ever used a mini iPhone it was the first of its kind and paying $700 for that was literally buying into promises that Apple gave us on the other hand the iPhone 12 was only $100 more and it was not a beta testing program and it was the successor to the iPhone 11 which was already a crowd favorite and a safer bet so naturally people felt more comfortable spending the extra $100 just to get the 12 and you cannot really blame anyone for making a good $800 purchase versus a $700 risky first gen mini iPhone.
All right, hope you enjoyed the video and let me know what you think of these kind of explainer videos. It was a little bit challenging for me to do because I've never done these before, but I definitely had a lot of fun making it. So if you wanna see more of this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.